grand rising loves. This is the altar spread for the collective today. So the sacred geometry that showed up today is duality. It's the circle. But when you think about duality, that's a very old paradigm. This is the very old judgment mindset that named something good and then there had to be evil. That was the duality or dark and light or male and female. And so this, you can see this perpetuating in our reality right now. It's them against us in politics. It's them against us, those that are using dark forces to progress through life instead of the light forces. But actually, they're just two sides to the same coin. Duality is an illusion. It's a lie. It's a lie that you were taught to keep yourself controlled. And it's also causing a battle inside of you that is actually impeding your progress. So just like the heads and tails are both a quarter, that light and dark is part of you as well. And the way to move past it, to progress past it, to, to eradicate the forces that seem to be creating discord in your reality is to actually find that part of you that created it. So there is a part of you that is creating that which is your biggest issue in your reality. So if your biggest issue is child trafficking, what part of you is actually using other humans? Manipulating other humans without their consent? I mean, you have to come clean about this. So the moon, I love that she showed up right after new moon. So new moons, full moons, very powerful in the cycle. And that's what this card talks about, how we can learn so much from the moon that she moves through her cycles and it actually directs the power here on earth. But we can actually harness that power for our own good and betterment. So the new moon is all about manifestation and it's, it's most powerful within the first 24 hours. So we are in that. So if there is something that you wanna manifest for yourself, create a focus wheel. And I actually have videos about that, creating the focus wheel for a new moon and bring those manifestations into matter, into your reality. You can do that. You are a divine being, you deserve it. And I love how cards, because in the weeks that I was on vacation and took a break, this card never showed up. <laughs> but I love how my intent to pull for the collective is exactly what the consciousness needs. The consciousness needs more heart-centered expression. This card, Chrysocola, is all about that, bringing your heart through your voice. It's all about intent. Intent is everything. So instead of thinking before you speak, which is literally the worst thing that we were ever taught as children, and I didn't poison my children with that same lesson, thinking before you speak is actually accessing the programming, an old paradigm. It's accessing a version of you that's not even authentically you. When you speak through your heart, it is always authentically you. And the intent becomes pure. And so this is the purity that I spoke about yesterday. Pure is not a pristine, untouched person. Purity is, is this from love? That's pure. That's pure intent. You are speaking and acting from a place that is driven by love. 
And when you do that, it is literally impossible for you to use, manipulate, harm anyone outside of you. And then the diamond tiger, the black moon, and I love that it's black moon, that's new moon, um, but sky absent of moon, dark moon. Second chances bring success. This card talks about letting go of the thought that you know what's gonna happen, even if it's something that you think you've seen before. This was the message yesterday, if you remember. And so this is telling you to come into it new because this time it's gonna be success. So don't create the, oh no, I've seen this before, it's gonna be this way again, and it's gonna be ugly, I'm gonna get hurt, or it's gonna be, it's gonna be harsh. You have to let go of judgment. You have to empty the judgment about that and go into it new, like a child, like a wondrous child, and say, oh, what is this that's happening? <laughs> and so there is a prayer for this. So if you can shake out your shoulders, let's take a deep collective breath together. Releasing with an audible sigh. Close your eyes and stay connected to my voice. I call upon the Divine Mother's gift of tiger medicine for my body, for my mind, and my soul. Through unconditional love, divine mercy and ancient wisdom, I honor the empowerment of strength, vitality, courage, and truth. I invite this energy to flow within my body, mind, and soul through divine grace that I may be ready for the path ahead, freed from the past with compassion and blessed in this moment with the joy of simply being alive. Blessed with the joy of simply being alive. Through divine love and my own free will, so be it. <laughs>